T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying 27 satellites for Amazon's Project Kuiper Internet Constellation. Continuing a new chapter in low Earth orbit satellite connectivity. U is on closed loop control. Engaging our first throttle segment. And completed pitch program. You are hearing Sarah Bailey Glasgow providing launch Can vehicle ascent data. As expected. Hydraulics look good. Successfully completed roll program. Body racer continued to look good. Mach 1, Atlas V is now supersonic. Throttling up as expected. Vehicle is now five miles in altitude, two miles down range, please move down the center of the range track. Booster engine operating normally. Now passing one minute into flight. Body rates are nominal. Engine continues to operate as expected. Throttling down, engine continues to burn normally. Vehicle is now moving at 2,700 miles an hour down the center of the range track. Vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight. Max Q passing through maximum dynamic pressure. And we have good indication of SRB burnout coming up on SRB jettison. Throttling up as expected. And we have good indication of separation of all five SRBs. Engine continues to burn normally. Vehicle is now on closed loop steering. Engine operating parameters look good. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff to give the Atlas rocket an extra boost to punch through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. And speaking of punches, these SRBs provide 350,000 pounds of thrust each. So with five Gem 63s combined with the RD-180s, you get 2.7 million pounds of total thrust at liftoff. Talk about some firepower. We're now coming up on our next mission event, Jettison of the Payload Fairing. Let's listen in. Atlas is now 80 miles downrange, moving at 5,600 miles an hour. Holding acceleration at 2.5 Gs for, in preparation for payload fairing jettison. And vehicle is past the Carmen line. We've exited Earth's atmosphere. Atlas is now one-fourth of its liftoff weight. And since our reaction control system is pressurizing flight levels as expected. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And CFLR deck jettison. Engine continues to burn normally. Flight commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow just called out confirmation of the payload fairing jettison. The composite fairing protects the spacecraft as it pushes through the harshest parts of Earth's atmosphere. Next, we'll hear callouts for the cutoff of Atlas's first stage engine and the separation of the booster stage, followed by the ignition of ULA Centaur's second stage engine. These events occur when the first stage has escaped Earth's atmosphere, getting above the Kármán line and into space. The Centaur upper stage, with the Kuiper satellites attached, then takes over on a trajectory to a precise orbit in space. Let's listen in as we approach these milestones. Engine continues to burn as expected. 30 seconds to beco. Boost base chill down in progress. Temperatures are operating as expected. Body rates continue to look good. PU has gone to open loop control as expected. Boost phase chill down complete. Temperatures operate as expected. And we have good indication of booster engine cutoff. And stage separation. Pre-start on fuel unlocks. Good staging. Ignition and full thrust. RL10 is running nominally. 
This will be just under 13 minute first burn. Steering has been enabled. NPU system has gone to fixed angles as expected. Engine this is Atlas Mission normally. Control at T plus four minutes and 59 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow confirm the successful completion of the early milestones in today's flight and all systems continue to operate nominally. So we had a really great launch today. We went at the beginning of our window, which is always a plus. Uh, the line stayed pretty light, not a lot of chatter. Um, our engineers, best in the world, kept forward and uh, we were able to have a successful early milestones of today's Atlas Kuiper 3 launch. Yeah, it was great to see. Uh, the 551 is always a special rocket. The bruiser configuration, as we lovingly call it, uh, with those five extra SRBs, 2.7 million pounds of thrust, it really just leaps off the pad. As we wrap up our live coverage, we want to say thank you for tuning in for today's flight and remind you to visit ULALaunch.com, follow our socials at ULA Launch, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future live streams, launch highlights, and behind the scenes rocket content. Also plan to join us next month for another Atlas V launch.